वेलकम बैक टू टेन स्लेड इनफो इवन तो दर इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द अनमैन एरियल वेहिकल्स फॉर द इंडियन आर्मी दे नीड टू बी वेरी क्लियर ऑन विच वन इज एक्चुअली रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दैम एज पर द डिफेंस सोर्सेस इट लुक्स लाइक द इंडियन आर्मी इज प्लानिंग टू इवेल्युएट द इजरायली हर्मिस फोर फिफ्टी मीडियम साइज अनमैन एरियल वेहिकल वेरी सोन दीज अनमैन एरियल वेहिकल्स आर वेरी मच सिमिलर टू द डी आर जीओस रस्टम वन विच इज अ मीडियम एल्टीट्यूड लॉन्ग एंजुनेस अनमैन एयर वेहिकल So not sure why the Indian army is interested in evaluating the Israeli Hermes 450. The Hermes 450 might be of Israel origin, but these unmanned aerial vehicles are manufactured in India by Adani Defence. So this might be one of the reason due to which the Indian army might be interested to procure them. If we quickly compare the general characteristics of these two unmanned aerial vehicles, both are more or less similar to each other. Even if we see the performance parameters both unmanned aerial vehicles are competing with each other with a slight difference It's not just Hermes 450 looks like Adani Defense is also offering the Hermes 900 which is again a medium altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle to both Indian Army and Indian Air Force These unmanned aerial vehicles are manufactured in India in collaboration with Israeli Helbit Systems for the export market Even though these unmanned aerial vehicles are being offered, not sure if the Indian Army might be procuring them. So let's wait and see what decision is taken in this regard, and if Adani Defence is able to sell their medium altitude, long endurance drones to the Indian Army or not. I'll upload few more videos to share more details on this particular deal. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defence and aviation-related updates. Thank you.